You about to get evicted? Uh, buy a lady dinner first? Jeez. Look, I know you went through a lot at the end of last year, so I'm just trying to be a good friend. We both are. Good friends with big mouths. Well, I had to tell Gregory because you lied to my face about that email. I forgive you. Also, I may have told Barbara and Ava and Melissa, but again, you lied, so, okay. I did not lie. I have a plan. My landlord and I have a repartee. I don't pay the rent, he says you need to pay the rent. I say the check is in the mail, he says you need to pay online, it's what we do. Look, I'm, I'm assuming that paying is harder because you don't have Tariq. Guys, you see how I'm hanging up this bulletin board with ease? See how I got the gritty to come for the first day of school despite his packed schedule? I'm doing fine. I'm breezing through this breakup and handling it like any adult would. You need the, um... Oh, no, 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 I got it because I am killing today. <laughs> Damn it. Look, let me help you, all right? Okay, so do me a favor, pull this through over there. Mm -hmm. So this is going well. Yeah, it is. I'm... And you're good? Yeah, so good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so. Um, all right. I said it. How, um, how's uh, the Taylor thing, the thing with uh, Taylor? How's that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Good. It's good. I'm yeah. so happy to hear that. It's good, yeah. And um, are you dating anyone new? Or? Nope. Because <laughs> I'm just focusing on the school year, right? I you know, you. just want to make yeah. sure I am killing it. Guys, now it is time to get this party started. Hey there. Anybody drive a beat up sedan? Okay, Come on, guys. guys. Let's wait. It's going to be a great year. It is, isn't it? Oh, I like what you did with your hair. Part, it's nice. Go ahead, y'all. Why do I have to see Chris Pratt everywhere? It's okay. Now, I want to th I am so proud of that young man and all of his success. <laughs> so, there are a bunch. Mm, mm, mm. Now, that is. Mm. Yes. Mm hmm. She is arguably the third best child of destiny. And that is why I'm seeking the entire sum of the grant so that we can grant our kids a brighter future. Thank you. <laughs> no. No. I don't know. It's a bit much. But a bit much is kind of my brand. I know, but I think it'll be more effective if we limit the theatrics and just keep it grounded. See, that is why I came to you. Because Jacob just would have lied to my face and told me it was amazing. <laughs> Man, see, you're such an honest, straight up guy. You're right. I am straight up. And honest. It's kind of my brand. Well, oh, it's, it's not really your brand. Yeah, it is. See? Okay, then. Well, I'm going shark diving. Wish me luck. So hey. Hey. You okay? I will be. Thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs> What'd you lose? Uh, it was a shawl that was in my classroom. It was my warmest one. I am so cold. <laughs> you think someone took it? Who would just take a shawl? I hope all the kids aren't here today. Yesterday, everybody was in attendance, and it almost broke me. That's what happens when you enforce a no-nose-picking policy. I'm behind on lesson plans, but it's too early in the year to show movies. I expected it to be corny, but that was beyond anything I thought was theoretically possible. <laughs> no, it was Pete Jacob. Oh, Melissa, I bet that you would love the story, Samurai. Oh, yeah, I just dropped my kids, and I got, like, two lesson plans to do, and that beat means I got an hour left, and I still didn't go to the bathroom. OK. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I will be right back. Please stay quiet. Thank you. It's quiet. Hey, what's up? Just saying hi. Oh, that's nice. Hi. How's your day? Surprisingly smooth. I got through 90% of animal habitats, even though it's been a bigger bathroom day than usual. Mm. For, for the kids, not for me. Oh, okay. How's your day going? Uh, my day is good. Um, taught the two times table. Oh. But I did convince Jacob not to perform. But you just told him that it's corny and that eventually we will all end up making fun of him. No, better. I told a fib oh. to protect his feelings. Ah. Jacob just put so much thought into how he's perceived. 
It doesn't hurt anyone, so I figured why burst his bubble. Well, for one, it could stop him from inviting us to his living single rewatch parties. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're in a relationship. I don't, I don't get it. But he does get some good guest speakers. He got the guy who played Kyle. <laughs> So wait, Jacob isn't performing now. No. Y'all gotta stop playing God with that boy's life. No, 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 no. I truly convinced him this time to let it go. I told him the truth, which I feel good about, but I also feel kind of bad about. Well, did he really want to do it? Uh, yeah. He was over the moon and back. But I'm just trying to save him from embarrassment. He was gonna look like a fool in front of the entire school and the internet. But he does that weekly anyway. It's who he is. I mean, if we like him for it and he really wanted to do it, I don't see why you would stop him from being him. Stay in the line, y'all. <laughs> Homework is the jam. Homework is the jam. What are you doing? Oh, just waiting out there, cool down. Not in the mood to be improv yet. You don't think. I mean, they have to be virgins, right? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, you might be right. Looking good. Great job, you guys. Hey. What's up? I need to take this one to the principal's office. Can you watch my class for a second? The principal's office? Do you think that's a little harsh for a kid that young? I mean, I've never had to even take any of my kids to Ava. <laughs> well, this is a unique situation. How so? Can you help me or not? Well, I just think maybe there might be some other options. You two in a fight. Looks like y'all in a fight. I'll be right over. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Michael. You can walk faster. I thought it was just my class. What is going on? Is this new juice? It's busting their bladders. Oh, well, that can't be it. I mean, it's only two more ounces. Well, I guess two more ounces adds up to 200 more trips to the bathroom. Well, this is a good thing, because more trips to the bathroom means more liquid flushing through their tiny bodies and cleansing their tiny little cells. Hydration. This is good. Mm. Uh-oh, I think the bathroom broke. How are we even supposed to teach? My first graders have never even been to the second floor before, and it takes me 45 seconds at a brisk pace to get all the way up there. It'll take the kids forever. You time yourself going to the second floor? You don't? Oh, well, it's called getting them to the first floor bathroom as it is. And first graders have the second most combustible bladders. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you. you. It's your Those lipstick. Those pants are creased real well. Ready? All right, y'all, come on. Let's line up right here, all right? Bathroom? Yeah. This is so inconvenient, I can barely find a silver lining. You found one? We're getting good exercise. It don't count if I don't got my Fitbit on. We cannot be expected to keep hauling our entire classes up the stairs every five seconds. We will help Barbara if she needed it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it is her free period right now. And it's not like we would be disrupting her class. Right? And I bet if I asked her, she'd want us to use her bathroom. Come on, kids. Yeah. Come on. Let's be quiet. Everyone should get low. Well, really, just Mr. Eddie, get low. Get low. Get low. What's taking that kid so long? Who's even in there? Um, everything okay? You know, Gregory, you tried. I've been told I knock like a ghost. Could you, I know, just. Hi, Mrs. Howard. I distinctly remember. Yes, yes, but then I remembered how if you needed help, I would give it to you. And that... Barbara, look, it's your free period. Your kids are at the gym. I don't care when I say something that is the end of the discussion. I felt like an exclamation point. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Barbara, we are sorry, but we will be done in a minute. The kids will be out, and it'll be like we were never here. I think it's broken. Come on, guys. Good job washing your hands. Go sit down on the stairs. Right, there you go. Let's have to go. Come on up. Whoa, whoa! whoa. whoa we're sorry. Barbara, we're sorry. Did everyone get a chance to use the bathroom? That's great, sweetheart. Um, um okay, come on, y'all. Let's take a step back. Everything. Come on. Yes. Well, we will have to inform the district. Uh-oh, uh somebody's going hard in the face. <laughs>
<laughs> that is the best and maybe only James Harden costume I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, did you see Jacob's costume? He's wage theft. I guessed it on the first try. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that is a good costume. Thank you. Yes, Millennial Tuskegee Airman. I love that. Red Tails, so underrated. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Ashley, got more candy for the stash. I'm so bored. Okay. Oh, hey, Ron Burgundy. Oh, look at you, you shaved. Look, I got this bag of candy from Joel and Carolina's mom. She wanted me to give it to you. Maybe she wants you to get a cavity or something. Oh, that's nice of her, but no thanks. I truly hate candy, unless it's 96% cacao. Um, but you can hang on to that, and I'll tell her thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for your donation to my mouth. Sorry, no. Oh, Worthers. Here's a little extra something. What is going on? What? What the? What? Oh! What does it look like, boy? They got into the candy bag. Bags. That's two Halloweens worth of candy. How did they even pass it out so fast? We need to find who took the candy. They need to burn that energy off. You know, when I woke up this morning, I did not expect my day to include patting down the students for candy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, Joel and Carolina's mom left that for you in the bag of candy you didn't want. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Her phone number. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good penmanship. Yeah. 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 Guess she has a thing for Kevin Hart and Soul Plane. <laughs> One, he did not play a pilot in that. Two, we as a society do not talk about Sully Sullenberger enough. I'd say he's had his time. He landed an Airbus of 155 people safely on a river. Okay, I'm just saying that as a pilot, like half his job is landing, so he kind of was just doing his job. Wow. Shouldn't have had a movie we... before Harry Tubman. Tom Hanks can't play her. I don't know why that's Mr. Sullenberger's problem. Well, I will not rest until the world gives that man <laughs> the respect that he deserves. Okay. Okay? All right. I'm serious about this. I I'm see. Really passionate. I understand. <laughs> So are you going to take Amber to some kind of pilot party tonight? No. Friends are dragging me out. Oh. They've been doing that a lot now that I'm single. Oh. That's nice of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a lot at first. Mm. But it is nice, actually. Have your friends been doing the same since the breakup? Oh, yeah. Well, no. But Jacob did take me out to a drag settlers of Catan branch, and that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. But what about your outside of work friends? Um, oh, my my outside of work friends? I'm just um, saying you didn't have to lock me in the safe to show me how big it is. Hey, quit whining. What's going on in there now? Yeah, they've locked the doors. Bitch! <laughs> yeah. Yes! Okay. Obviously, I look better in it than Marilyn, but honestly, than you. Okay. Tell how good she looks, Gregory. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you look, um, it looks great. Really form-fitting. Gross. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good night, Mr. Jones. And then he pulls out a lollipop that she gave him. I don't want to interrupt, but your spaghetti's getting cold. So. Into my hand. You know, Ooh. you guys can eat and listen. I've seen you do it. Someone had to get the scoop on this hot new juice. Can our kids use it, please? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's still straight. Yeah. Yep. So what's up? Uh, just, I ran into Tariq outside. He said you guys are going out tonight. Oh, yeah. It's just going to be a little catch-up session for dinner. Well, he may think it's a little bit more than dinner. Sure it's a good idea? I'm sure. And you don't really have to worry about it, because it's kind of none of your business. Just looking out for a friend. Yeah, no. Thanks, friend. Uh, my kids will be doing hand turkey art, and I'll be recycling it to soak up all the snow that gets through the cracks in the windows. Children's hands really seem to carry the holidays. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, my you feel like the egg drop is right for your kids? I mean, it takes a fairly decent understanding of physics. 
Yeah, I'm sure it's right because learning should be fun and about new experiences and not whether or not the eggs break. It's actually only about whether or not the eggs break. Oh my God, you won't shut up about this egg drop. Well, they feel bad because they failed, but that's science. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. It literally does. It's part of the scientific method. I don't like science. Too many laws. And who's the judge? God. Uh, you know, Bill Gates. Enough! Science is factual and real, and failure is a part of the scientific method. So congratulations, Janine. You just mastered the first part. Now, have you run your error analysis yet? Oh, yes. My error analysis is that we will never give up. We believe in ourselves, and we know we can do it. So, no. Um, Janine, do you understand the science behind the egg drop? Look, if you want your kids to really get this, then you're going to have to get it. I used to love the egg drop. Look, Amber canceled on me for tonight, so if you want, I can walk you through it. To understand egg drop, you have to understand some scientific principles that are fairly complex for a second grader. I believe in my second graders, and I want to show them that if they believe in themselves, they can do anything. I appreciate the optimism, but you can't just positive attitude your way through physics. Well, I beg to differ. Can you touch my hand? What? If you believe in yourself enough, can you touch my hand? As I was saying. No, wait, hold on. Because <laughs> if I were to just, you know, grab. Oh, oh. Come on. See, this is why science shouldn't be taught in schools. I feel like this is about something else. <sighs> Look, this may come as a surprise, but. I've never been good at not getting things. You don't say. Normally, I'm able to come into anything with a positive mindset and succeed. Failure is what propels science forward. If you can't accept failure, then you can never learn from it. If you can't accept failure, then you can never learn. I don't sound like that, Janine. My voice is quite deep. Now, if we can get back to the egg drop. <laughs> When I was little, I could never keep my shoes tied, and people love to make fun of that. But then I got Velcro shoes, and they made fun of that, too. But here's what I learned about failure. It sucks, and I don't want my kids to feel it. Time to get them some Velcro shoes. Jacob is right. That Mr. Morton's got a real attitude. He will not put on another egg drop event. You know you can do an egg drop event without him, right? That's not the point. Look, I face so many Mr. Mortons, and there are so many Mr. Mortons in this world, and I want my kids to face them now. And I want to shield them with the best defense, positivity. Janine, your kids are lucky to have a teacher who believes in them as much as you do. But maybe sometimes, possibly, you can come at it with, like, so much positivity that it's toxic. Mr. Morton science is just too advanced for them. Those are the facts. Uh, I know. I spiraled. Happens to all of us, but it happens to you a lot, huh? So now I have to tell my kids that I messed up and that they can't do anything they put their minds to? It's the truth. And the truth is science. Isn't it our job to tell them the truth? No, it's like a serious question. I, I haven't been here very long. I don't know the answer to that. Should I be lying more? Yeah, well... I realized that the egg drop was too advanced, but then I decided to experiment with another special project, the egg lift. And it involves something they like already, balloons. <laughs> All right, release! Mr. Morton, ah, how nice of you to be here. Hello. You took my helium tank. I did, and that's because I wanted you to see us learn all about... I am good now, but Friday was gross. Mm, well, here. It's got electrolytes in it. It's good to stay hydrated while you're recovering. Oh. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks. Oof, it is good to be back. Oh. Everyone who picked a name out of Hey, you leaving? Yeah. You want to stick around and see if Barbara drinks enough fun punch to do the heel toe? Oh, no, I definitely do. But um, I'm meeting Erica, so... I gotta go get ready. Oh, leaving a school function early, that's new. It is new. I am having a life outside of school. Oh, that's nice. I'm also going out with some friends tonight. Okay, cool, well, I hope you have a good time and enjoy your break. Yeah, you too. Yeah, 
Hmm. And I'll um see you next year. See you next year. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Gregory, but I'm gonna miss everybody. And that includes Gregory. And uh, you know, we've become really good friends this year. He's doing so well with teaching and dating Amber. Don't have to make it an adjective. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're cool. How y'all ladies doing tonight? Oh, fine, thank you. Janine. Gregory? You, um, you're here. I am here. Sorry, do you, um, you come here often, or is it, I'm sorry, it sounds like a pickup line, but in this case, I'm being genuine. I mean, yeah, sometimes with friends, uh, you look. Yeah, you also look, um, I'm so sorry. I just was not expecting to see anyone from work here. Then. Ava? No, 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 she's not here. There's too much sinning going on. Oh. Just Ava alone. Is... Yeah. So where's Amber? Oh, she's at home. Okay. I, um, uh, at her her home. Not my. We don't we don't live together. I'm, I'm, I didn't think that you. I'm just having the boys night out. Okay. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Yo, it seems like we're the only ones not like dancing or mingling. I know. I know. We are weird. Should we go out there and be normal together? Yeah. I enjoy the act of being normal. I love it. Then yeah. let's, let's be normal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two people dancing, uh -huh. mingling, yeah. being normal. After okay. you. Huh? What'd you say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Do you like this song? Oh, I don't dance the songs that I don't like. I don't want DJ to get the wrong idea. You know, I don't like it that much either. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Can I grab her real quick? Huh? You good? Yep. Sure? Yeah. I'm gonna join you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Me. Yeah. So, Gregory, Eddie, Mr. Eddie, mm. I see you're back from break. Yes, indeed. And I see you, Miss Teeks, are also back from break. Yep. You need to just. Oh, no, I was, um, but we could, yeah. No? Mm -mm. Okay, no. We don't have to. So, how does this work? The class that reads the most gets a pizza party? I mean, that's what the kids want. Kind of. Every kid gets pizza, but we track the class in each grade that reads the most. It's mostly ceremonial, but some of us take it more seriously than others. Clear the way to... Mm. Oh, well, uh, uh... What kind of podcast is this? Okay. No, 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 no. I was not. We were dancing, you know, just how normal people dance, right? Like normal people. Yeah. I was outside talking to his friend Maurice. What? <laughs> um, Jacob, isn't this exactly the kind of podcast we wanted to steer away from? Actually, I would love to hear if you have anything you'd like to add, you know, for journalistic purposes. This episode was brought to you by the Coleman Podcast Network. What was that? Nothing. Did I see your last name on it? It's a flyer for my dad's landscaping company. Aww. Uh, uh, is that your brother? No, I'm actually an only child, but apparently appearing to be a family business helps bring in customers. Sorry, so your, your dad, he hired an actor to play his son instead of just asking you? Yeah. I think I'm confused. You're not. Oh, hey, Gregory. How was Podcast Club? Well, Ava needed Jacob for what was obviously a fake emergency, so it was just me and the kids. Hmm. It's actually the best it's ever been. How was that without Ava? 
Oh, Shayla said my choreography was so old, I got it from Shakespeare. Then all the kids started calling me Stop the Bard, so pretty much the same. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, hey, guess who I ran into yesterday? Jacob? Uh, no. Melissa? No. Barbara? Okay, I guess it was more rhetorical, but Maurice. Yeah, and guess what? Oh, actually, don't. He asked me out on a date. <laughs> um, wow. Right? <laughs> Or no, I can't tell by your reaction. Uh, uh, um, no, 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 it's, it's good. Just, uh, hmm, um, just be careful. Why? Is he a derelict? Oh my God, is he a ne'er-do-well? No, 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 he's just, um, he's one of those all or nothing kind of guys, intense. I just, you know, wanted to give you a heads up. Well, <laughs> if he's someone you need to give me a heads up about, then why is he one of your best friends? I think we both know that being friends is different than dating. Look, I'm not trying to talk bad about Maurice. Really? Because it kind of seems like you are. No, it's just, if this doesn't end well, I don't want it to blow back on me. Oh, okay. Well, I get that. I do. But I promise you won't have to worry about any bat getting blown. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. Okay. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna go my door. Thanks. Menu for the spot Mo's taking you to yet? Because you should already know what you're ordering before you get there. The sights of women are hot. Well, I don't want to get anything too, too messy, so I'm going to get the beef ribs. <laughs> oh, tell Melissa what Mo did. Oh, so I'll just call him the Mo now. That's... Well, he bought a bunch of candy from my kids. So sweet. Delicious pun intended. <laughs> Aw, disposable income. You know what? That reminds me. I actually wanted to um, buy some candy. I was planning on it before we started talking about this, so I'm happy it came up, because I would like to do it right now. My kids aren't here right now. Yeah, can't you buy from your own students? No, you hate candy? Why are you guys making it so hard for me to support young entrepreneurs? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I appreciate you, Gregory. Thank you for supporting our students. Just like Mo. <laughs> hey. Hey. So I know that your date is tonight, and I just wanted to say that I hope you have fun. Mo's a really good guy. Oh, thank you. He must be if he's friends with you. <laughs> oh, um, one more thing. Maybe don't order the ribs. I've seen you eat ribs before. It can get aggressive. It's a good call. Thank you. Hey, you got a second? Yeah, my kids are in gym, so. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I have something really important I need to ask you. Okay. Did Jacob already tell you? I mean, to be fair, he didn't mean to. He thought I knew already, which I didn't, so. Well, now that you do, what do you think? Think it's good enough? That's a weird way to phrase it. I don't think it's about if it's good enough. I just think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's complicated. That's what I'm stuck on. It's actually not that complicated. But it is, though, Gregory. I, I mean, mean, it also just... Stages 12 and up. How complicated could it be? What? Mm, sorry, wait. It's just time out. What? I mean, it's, it's got a lot of pieces, but complicated it is not. See, Amber's allergic to real flowers, so it's a Lego set that you can build into a bouquet of flowers. But if you think it's too much or not Wait. enough, it's... So this is your Valentine's Day gift for Amber? Yeah. This is the coolest freaking gift I've ever seen. Okay, good, because I was worried. <laughs> you were worried, I was worried. About what? Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, what does matter is that I was right, and I will be telling Jacob that. Uh-uh, Jovan, <laughs> sit down. Thank you. What was that? That is so cool. Like, <sighs> she's gonna love it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Kids involved. You put that together. That bag yeah. looked good on you, girl. Oh, thank you. It's a Teflon. <laughs> Teflon. Oh. oh, your gift is so cool. You're going to have so much fun with that. Again, I'm sorry. And again, I say this is the only weekend that Amber could get a sitter. You are going to be missing out on so much professional development and not to mention continental breakfast. For what, huh? So that you can relax in a heart-shaped hot tub, watching the moon dance off of Amber's eyes as you whisper sweet everythings. Real fun, dude. Yeah, you're lost, bro. I'm taking Amber. Last name, Eddie, E-D-D-I-E. -D -D -E. Gregory, hey. What are you doing here? What happened to your romantic polka dos weekend getaway? Well, I decided this conference was too important to miss, so I'm here. Oh, uh, well, not to poke up my nose in your business, but where's Amber? I really don't know. 
Do you, do you need, you want me to help you find her? No, no, no. She dumped me. Damn. Room 243, enjoy your stay. I am so sorry about your breakup, but, mm -hmm. but hey, you're amongst friends. Um, so let's hit some lectures, right? To keep your mind occupied. Now, you've already missed individualized education plans, but I can catch you up between brain teaser lunch and designing a better curriculum. And I don't want to fly too close to the sun here, but if we hustle, we can make it to the creativity seminar. Although we'd have to be creative about it, you know? So, <laughs> hey -o. It's a joke. Unless that sounds like too much, which... No, this is great. It'll be good to be busy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Your favorite way to decompress. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Melissa and Barbara are right. Pixa getting is lit. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, just thinking about how I could be tree venturing in a sugar maple right now. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> but this is also fun and not sad, so. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ava. Hey, Ava. Uh, where you think you're going with Janet Waxon? This rope is velvet. <laughs> what you think? Because you got new little boots on, you can come in here? Okay. <laughs> I just thought that... Read the sign. VIP. Very important people who are principals only. Limited exceptions. Gregory, you may answer. Why didn't you just say very important principals? That's actually a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Gregory? I'm gonna go get a gin and phonics. You want one? Yes, I'm going to get a deck of reeds. I'll take it. I really thought the rules of science are meant to be followed. Lecture would have cheered you up. Definitely helped. Yeah? You still thinking about the breakup? Well, it did happen yesterday. Yeah. But to be completely honest with you, it's not even that. Mm. Why am I always the one who gets dumped, you know? Like, based on the evidence, it's got to be me, right? Mm -mm. It is not you. It's dating. The only silver lining to dating is you only have to be right about someone once. That kind of makes it feel not as bad. That's a good perspective. Thank you. I'm both smart and wise. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> me and Amber were super different. Anyway. Yeah. Like, too different. Yeah. Like, I always felt like a weirdo around her. You are a weirdo. That's an upsetting turn. <laughs> no, I mean that in a good way. I think that everyone deserves to be with someone who likes them exactly as is. Especially you. Seriously. Look at that sweater right now. Look at that mustache. Not many people could do that. Don't sleep on Janine, either. Hell yeah! Heck yeah. yes! Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, we... He likes it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, goody, Ooh. another silly one. What do, you, what do you have? Yeah, just more of that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I missed the living classroom of your flower show. They made a whole classroom out of flowers. Oh, that sounds amazing. I know, but I never know now. Oh, man, I really wanted to see that. We, let's, let's go now. No, it's definitely closed. Says who? You going that way? Yeah. Okay. So moving forward. This is my favorite direction. Right. <laughs> We're good, right? Like the, whatever happened, that was a nothing thing. Yeah, it's best to just throw it out. That's what I was gonna say. Just throw it out. Yeah. Yep. I blame the Philly Flower and Show. And the really. drink. And Allentown. Sexy place. <laughs> <laughs> Back's the weekend, crazy. Right. So right. So um. We're just throwing it out. Throw it out. <laughs> Nothing but that. All right. Yeah, we'll just throw it out. It was nothing. Involving a woman, teacher, with Miss Schwartz, Jacob, Thomas, step up. Uh, wildly. And that seat taken, because I can stand, it builds character. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a couple of days. It's actually not taken, but it could be taken by you if, if you wanted to take it. Yeah, because it's in the roster seat. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, so. so, so. Sit down, Janine. Okay. Everyone settle down. Hey, coworker. Hey, so I ran into Maurice earlier, and it's bothering me what happened at the teachers' conference. I feel like I've been a bad friend to both of you. There's no need to feel bad. Like, even without what, you know, happened, 
something still wasn't quite clicking with Maurice. I mean, if it was, then I wouldn't have kissed you, right? Right. I'm going to go to Bone Town with Mo, and then I'm going to break up with him. Wow, okay, well, that feels like too much information and also kind of cruel. I know, but I figured if I got to do this, I might as well be full of meat and covered in sauce. Oh, you mean the, um, the barbecue restaurant? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, Maurice is still my friend, so I should be the one to tell him about the kiss, since you're gonna break up with him anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, I was talking to Erica, and she said really shouldn't get into details. Well, I still want to be cool with Mo. I don't want this weighing on my conscience. Well, if he's going to find out, then I should be the one to tell him. You didn't want to tell him at all, and now you want to tell him first? Because I didn't want to hurt him. All right, look, I guess the only solution is for us to go to Bone Town together, and we apologize to him. That's the only way. Fine. Together. Okay. Hey, Maurice, we were hoping that we could talk. Yeah. Why so macabre, bro? Look, you know how much I value our friendship. And you know how much I value our, uh, yes. And you're really a, a great guy. It's... We got drunk in kisses at the confrontation conference. But it meant nothing. Yeah, meant nothing. Like, yeah, less than nothing, right? You know, like, what, what, what would you say would be something that's less than nothing? Negative nothing. Yep. We are so, so sorry. Very sorry. Well, you know, we never meant to hurt you. You're taking this very well. I was thinking that maybe we aren't the best fit for each other. That is what it looks like, but no, that was not our intention. Huh? That's fair. Well, I guess this silly sock brigade is this generation's rug vermin. Rug rats, and um, wow, this is gonna be here forever. I have never been happier to be on the first floor. I know. <laughs>